Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the iPhone 4S pre-order and the origin of Siri. So let's first talk about the pre-order. The pre-order last night was a little bit rough. At 3 a.m. Eastern Time, the pre-orders went live. So I jumped on eagerly to Apple.com, clicked continue or clicked the store, and it wasn't available. About 15 minutes later, it came live and then became and then began the hour and a half wait, or almost two hour wait at that point, until I could actually pre-order. Myself, along with Quinn from That Snazzy iPhone Guy, and Andrew on Gear Live, Chris Perillo, I, Justine, uh, John for Lakers, Soldier Knows Best, uh, we're all trying to order it, and if you watched all, any of our tweets, you saw that we were trying to get through, we got frustrated, it didn't work, Verizon worked, Sprint worked, but then AT&T didn't work, and it was just a big mess. Finally, at 5 a.m., or 5.05 a.m., I was able to pre-order because Apple had switched to the actual pre-order that uh, just said, we've pre-ordered one for you, come back, fill out the details, pay for it, and you'll be done, instead of verifying with AT&T and all that stuff. So it was pretty rough, not really worth it, I don't think, but... I thought I'd just kind of mention that. It was a little bit rough, so I'd love to hear from you below if you actually were able to pre-order one last night at, you know, any time between 3 and 5 a.m. So let's go on, and uh, I ordered a 32 gig black one. This has actually got the stickers on it, the color shield that I did the other day. And let's talk about the origin of Siri. Now, a lot of people think Siri is something new, but it's really not. It's been around a while. It's actually this app right here. Let me zoom in for you. That app right there is Siri, and I've shown that, and I think the top 10 apps or must-have apps video that I have, uh, Siri is a personal assistant. And what happened is back in April of 2010, Apple actually bought Siri for anywhere between, I don't know, 25 to 100 million. No one really knows the actual amount, uh, but it was late April, I think April 28th, 2010, they actually acquired Siri and they've tweaked it, added things to it. What happens now is when you open it, you can't find this on the App Store, by the way. It was just sitting in iTunes. When you open it, it says retrieval failed. Siri could not download required information from the server. And what it used to do is send all the information to the server, come back with the information, and it was pretty good. You could ask it directions, you could ask it nearby restaurants, but not quite as intuitive as it is on the iPhone 4S. So it'll be interesting to see. But that's Siri, and a lot of people don't realize that that's where it came from. So I wanted to try to give you a little insight on that. Uh, overall, though, I think it's a really great app. In fact, it's one of my top 10 apps and made things really easy. It would still update your calendar like it does, but it wasn't quite as intuitive. I don't believe you could say, uh, do I have January 1st available at noon? It come back and say, no, you don't. And I say, how about two o'clock and it would understand what that meant without restarting the conversation. I think that's something they've added. But I kind of want to just go over that pretty briefly because I like Siri a lot and I'm very excited to have it in a phone and have it kind of do it locally is what I think it's doing on the new phone. But other than that, had all sorts of upgrade problems, have four iPhones on my account, bought the first two on the same day. Uh, it, it's a family plan. Bought the first two the day the iPhone 4 came out. Only my iPhone, which is the main one on the account, is eligible. So that's kind of crappy on AT&T's part. I hope they change that prior to the release of the iPhone because they're going to have a lot of angry customers. Uh, other than that, though, please let me know below how your pre-order went, what you think about the 4S, if you're getting one or not. Comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.